It's Advent Calendar Tom. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and we are doing our Advent Calendar. This is door number six, I think. Yes, we are opening up door number six, and it is all sorts of little products that are in my collection that I want to use up. These are all part of Project Pan, and hopefully I get to show you some empties here in a little while. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So. Last week, I told you about the wrong product. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you about it now um, because I've had more than two weeks to use it now. Um, and so four weeks ago, I got the Clarins Body Fit, which is an anti-cellulite lotion. This thing is tiny. If you saw my empties, you know I'm already done with it. And this um, is just supposed to be anti-cellulite. I don't know, it was a cooling effect, which is very interesting because I also have stretch marks from my pregnancy, so I've been using a gel that heats up on my belly, <laughs> and then this putting on the back of my thighs, um, it didn't really work, but I, it's tiny, it's 0.2 ounces, I wasn't really expecting it to work, uh, but it lotioned my hiney, so I would not go on my way to repurchase it, but I thought it was interesting, it'd be like a cooling effect with your lotion, I'm sure it's very nice. <laughs> But the one I was using <laughs> the last two weeks is this one here. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, non ketogenic safe for sensitive skin, dermatologist tested, and no artificial fragrance. You guys know I already kind of like this product. Um, it's one of those products and brands that's just like a solid go-to. It's like 28 bucks. It's good price. You get a nice moisture level to it. I actually put it on today, so any glow you see is the hydration from this lotion. Um, I don't, it's not super heavy. It's not great for if you have super dry skin, but if you have oily or normal to dry, this one is fantastic. It has great ingredients. If you are allergic to moisture stuff, this brand I can't highly recommend enough. The First Aid Beauty brand is just out of this world fantastic. So um, yeah, I would say in terms of like a moisture level, you're kind of looking at a six and a half, seven. And so it does a good job hydrating especially in the morning. Like I like to use this in the morning more than at night because I feel like I need a little something extra at night just because I do have dry skin, but I can use this at night too. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> You'll still get the job done, but this is a definite keep. I will definitely be using that one up. And so let's see what two products I have to choose from. You guys know I have put two products in. Um, I'll end up using both of them, but I wanted to, you know, give myself a chance to check out what it is. Where is number six? Oh, it's tiny. Look at, I never noticed number six is like the smallest number. Oh, how funny. Okay. <sighs> what do I want? Which what I want? Which what I want? I don't really want either of these. <laughs> okay, so in here there's a fragrance, but I think I'm actually going to go with the Peter Thomas Roth because I just filmed my fragrance and I don't want to throw another fragrance in there at the moment. You know what I mean? That's like a lot of fragrance to go through. So we're just going to revisit that in the summer, I think. <laughs> and hopefully I'll have some more empties in fragrance because I don't right in the moment for that project fan. But this one's going to be hard. Maybe it's good that I put this out because this one's going to take me a while to use up. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. I When I use this, I really do enjoy using this. But it's kind of gross. <laughs> um, I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel. Um probably starting right when I started working at Ulta like eight years ago. <laughs> I know I purchased this one. And what you do is you put it onto your skin and you let it sit for a minute or two to specify. It doesn't really specify. I let it sit for not that long, like, um, yeah, like a minute or two. And then you kind of rub your hands around and it pulls up the dead skin. And you kind of start like flaking a little bit. <laughs> Um, it's very satisfying. It's very satisfying. I also like to do it on the back of my hands because how often do you exfoliate the back of your hands? But I'm finding that that's one place where I see like aging and stuff, but this will be fun to use. This is already a product that I know and I love. Actually, I might do it on the back of my hands just so I can show you. So I can see. All the I love when samples are sealed. That way you know that they are good to go. Okay, so it looks like this white little cream. And you want to do this on dry skin, by the way. You don't want to use this while your skin is wet. And you roll and immediately you'll see it kind of balls up on itself. See that? So it's picking up a couple different things. One is picking up dead skin. The other thing it's doing is picking up some oils. And it does ball on itself too. So you'll always get balls, but the more you use it, the less balls you'll receive. 
That sounds so weird. <laughs> but the more you use it, the less, you know, dead skin's on your face. So, and then if you're gross like me, you just kind of, and just like that, you're done. Look, I didn't even let that sit for a minute or two because it started boiling immediately because I haven't exfoliated my hands in like forever. But you can kind of go back in and do one of these little things and you can see that the balls are still coming up. And you just wipe it away. <laughs> It's really nice, right? But that is gonna take me a while to use up. A little bit will do you. You saw how much I used, and I feel like I didn't even need that much on my hand. But my hand, oh, my hand looks so good now comparatively. But can you see that one wasn't used on? This one was used on. It's just a little bit smoother. Yeah, it's a nice product. I honestly haven't probably used that in three, four years. Uh, yeah, probably three. Did I buy it when I lived in Germany? I don't think I did. I think I used the one up I had when I had it in Germany. And then I did not use it when I lived in Tennessee. Yeah, I think it's been three to six years that I had that. I know I had it when I lived on Washington State. But there we go. That's what I'm going to be using. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy panning. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.